some guys, you know, they're on testosterone. That's all they're taking, and they're taking a lot of testosterone. They're not taking a aromatized inhibitor. Mm -hmm. So yes, they're feeling a little bit better, and they have more energy. They're putting on weight, but is it good weight? And then at that point, we got to start looking at their estrogen level, and if it's high. Fat yeah. deposits and other things can be gained, so you're gaining bad weight there, and you're like, "What's going on here?" I thought it was supposed to be losing weight and gaining muscle. Yeah, a lot of times too, when people take things on their own, they don't monitor stuff. They don't realize there's a problem until they actually stop whatever they're doing. So mm -hmm. they could be taking some. Oh, I'm feeling great. This is great. This is great. All of a sudden, they stopped cold turkey, and a month later, they feel like crap. Yeah. So it's usually the rebound, mm -hmm. and because they're not doing it the correct way, they're not taking the estrogen blocker, they're not getting their blood work done. So it's usually the rebound. So you could take stuff and feel great, feel great, but then eh, what's yeah. going to happen when you stop? What's going to happen months down the road when your estrogen gets too high yep. and you start developing lumps in your nipples, yep. oily skin, and, you know, yeah. so you always want to keep everything in track. You know? Definitely. Usually problems come when people stop. Yes. Your body goes into some type of crazy reaction, yeah, like yeah. what's going on? And then you get mood swings and you're breaking out and all this crazy stuff. So. You're, basically, you're crashing and burning. Yeah. Think about, uh, <laughs> yeah. as, uh, you're on a, yeah. a, you know, uh, uh, an F-16 or F-35 or whatever it is, and you're hitting the ground at full blast. That's kind of what's going on. Your, your body's like trying to recover from the damage. Yeah. 